of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the New Orleans Saints. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And they'll have excellent field position to begin this drive as he's all the way up to midfield at the 50. Well, that return gives them a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Hey, kill, kill. On second down, Kamara. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and 10, here's Breeze. He's going to launch this. Th a fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And he stopped immediately there. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Forced out to his left. Caught left side by Cobb. And down he'll go at the 25. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. The left side throw complete to Adams. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. It's Patrick Robinson there on the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. Green 
From the gun, it's Rodgers. And able to find Graham, complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Two former All-Pros connecting. Rodgers fighting his tight end, Graham. Packer first down. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And he's gonna bowl his way forward to the 48. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On play action, Rodgers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Rodgers will bring him up to the line, first and 10. And he's five for six now, throwing the ball on this drive. They go back to the ground with Jones. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to I want it. I didn't offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. remain in a scoreless first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. Let's go, hey, let's go, come on. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. This will be caught at about the six. The reception good for seven. It's third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense... And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by a former first-round pick, Patrick Robinson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. They begin on the ground with Camaro. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The Saints in the hurry up here. Clock continuing to roll. Breeze leaves this one with Camara. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He's looking to throw on third and two. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he will have the first down here as he's up to the 15. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. On first down, Breeze. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. 
That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. First down now, but that clock rolling. Breeze now on first down. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander, and he'll bring this one back to the 29. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. All right. Check, check, check. Get Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second go quarter, ahead, a lot of time to change things. Nine yards on the pick up there as they'll be left with third and one. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball, the ones in the huddle doing the turkey, right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Now a play fake here on first down. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams in the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers are able to cash in for six. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point, get the kickoff taken care of, and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. A final shot before half for Breeze. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. Breaks through the contact. And they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. Extra point try now for Crosby. Crosby connects on the extra point. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Lutz now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. turn here he'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line the Packers offense now they get ready to head back onto the field this is sort of what you would call a put away drive isn't it I mean, they score here especially a touchdown it's almost out of reach it certainly feels that way and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on that you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Now, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? On play action, it's Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Adams. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... 
There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's going to be caught. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Randall Cobb, 29 yards. And the Packers add six to their lead. And this one through the uprights and good. Crosby on now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits from these creases like they were able to explore right there. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost four there, and it's third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. From midfield, here's Breeze. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Back to the ground, it's Camaro. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Now Breeze, gotta have this one. And that's complete. It's Watson. 
And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So first and 10 now from the 30. Breeze now on first down. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Breeze now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Now a handoff, here's Kamara. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. They'll run it with Kamara. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. What a game this defense has played. They're pitching a shutout, so it'll be fun to watch down the stretch to see if their defensive coordinator continues to be as aggressive as he's been all game long. Second and goal from the one. Thomas, the lone receiver, left. And he'll score! Touchdown, New Orleans! Drew Brees punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints make some inroads here to that deficit. Lutz with the extra point, and they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Lutz now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now the Packers get set to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Fighting through pressure. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Alex Okafor in there to sack him for a loss of six. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. for 19 yards gives him a new set of downs he's been the go-to guy they needed a big play there on third down went his way it worked out doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the and the saints pressure gets him brought down for a sack oh wait hold everything a timeout has been called seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game so after the sack here second and 14 zoom zoom Rodgers looking to throw. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Packers. Devontae Adams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers add on to their lead. The extra point up and good, but this one was decided anyway, as that will be the final action in this ball game. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about.